So welcome. I'm excited everyone is here. Like I said, this is the Diamond Dash kickoff, um, and I invited my team, and I know Jen Richardson invited some of the Fit Couture um, leaders, so I'm super excited to be here tonight. For those of you that don't know me, um, my name is Jillian Kaplan, and um, I am a five-star, two-time elite coach. Um, I have a full-time job in corporate America, um, a nine-to-five job. I had a Fortune 10 company. I've been a Beachbody coach um, about three and a half years now, and I started, like most of you, probably for the discount, and I thought, like, oh, I could never do what all those other people do, and then I fell in love with what we do as coaches and kind of began to grow my business, and um, I earn what I would say is the equivalent to a full-time income, and just give the income disclaimer, it's all dependent on skill and um, how much you do with the business. It's not a guarantee, but I don't work that much because I have a nine to five and I actually um, also have an infant. I have a five month old. So um, life is pretty busy around here. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story and where I came from. And then I'm going to go into sort of my presentation on what I do every day. And you guys might be like, okay, these things are not related at all, like her story and, you know, what she does every day. But the reality is they're super related because I'm going to kind of share with you some stuff I went through that made it really hard for me to move my business forward or would have made it really hard had I not had sort of like this system in place for myself on, on how to continue when times got hard. So, um... I started like um, probably some of you, overweight, a yo-yo dieter, someone that just couldn't seem to, I, you know, I graduated from high school. I was very, very heavy. I tried to lose the weight many, many, many times, um, and it all came back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then um, I saw my coach posting about the 21-day fix, and I had just tried this, like, cleanse that did not work, and I was so disappointed in myself, and so I'm like, you know what? I'm willing to try anything. And um, I had some pretty bad digestive stuff going on, and I started Googling Shakeology, and I was like, you know what, maybe this can help. So I started with 21 Day Fix as a customer, and a few months later, I became a coach, mostly for the discount, and then built a business from there. So you can kind of see my transformation on the left, and then like on the right, you can see, you know, that's a start to finish of a 21 Day Fix Extreme um, that I did. And now I'm starting all over again because... I just had a baby, and so I'm kind of back where I was when I started, and I'm ready to, um, you know, do this journey all over again. So um, back, um, and then I'm going to kind of go into kind of where – where I, where my business got hard, because I'm sure that you guys have all been in a place where something happened in your life that made your business hard, right? Like I'm pretty sure all of us have done something that's, I just want to make sure I am recording. Okay. Um, that has made our business get really hard. So I went to summit in March, I'm sorry, March, in um, July of 2016. And I was on what I would call beach body high, right? I had just um, led an elite team. I walked across stage as an elite coach. Um, I got to go to all these fancy parties. Back in 2015, when I went to Summit, which was my first year, I had one amazing coach come with me and we couldn't afford a hotel. So we stayed on a friend's couch and dog sat her dog in in exchange for, you know, room and board. And, um, the next year I was able to, you know, I just been, been able to get a house for my whole team and kind of treat everyone. And it was like this whole other experience. And I was on cloud nine and I got back from summit in, um, 2016. And, um, I found out I was chosen for the quarter force test group, which you guys know, like getting chosen for a test group is like just freaking amazing. And, um, I was so excited and I just remember, like I said, just total beach body high. Like this is like what beach body dreams are made of, right? Elite coach, coach test group, like ready to just like kill this business and move forward. And then a couple days after I got the notification that I was chosen for the quarter force test group, um, I had a horrible accident. I was walking my dog. Um, I was crossing a crosswalk before work, just walking my dog like I do every day. And I was hit um, full speed by a car. And that was about a year and a half ago now. I had emergency brain surgery to save my life. 
I shattered my face, my pelvis, my sternum, and my sacrum. I'm going to share some of these pictures with you guys. And I had this crazy fixator thing um, drilled into my pelvis for um, 12 weeks. I was totally wheelchair bound for two months of it, um, unable to walk. I was allowed to pivot in and out of my wheelchair to go to the bathroom. That was it. I spent a month alone in a hospital bed. Um, and I decided when this happened to me, I had every excuse in the book to just say, forget it. Like, this is not for me. Like I cannot do this right now. But instead I said, you know what? I know what I have to do every day. And I have built this business in my spare time. I can continue to do that. And when life got hard, like it got really hard, like sitting in a hospital bed for a month by myself, you know, my husband couldn't be with me. Um, nothing. I, it was, I thought, I thought I was just going to have to give up and, and I didn't. And a lot of why I didn't was because I knew what I had to do and I was able to just continue and move my business forward. But it became so like my why before was not really like that strong. It was just, I loved helping people. I loved what I did. I loved Beachbody, which is great because I have a good work ethic. And I was like, you know what? I can continue like this. But after an accident like this happens to you and there's question on whether you'll survive and there's question on if you ever walk again and you come out literally thriving. If you saw me on the street, I don't have a hobble. I don't, I don't limp. I don't anything. You would think there was nothing that ever happened to me, which is the way that I want it. Um, I finally, um, in January, I had my extensions taken out because I was so sick of them. So now my hair is kind of short, but um, okay. it's really, really, really important to realize that what we have in this business is a true gift. And while I have respect for all um, people that own their own business and all other network marketers, we have the ability to get people fit and healthy. And I know that being healthy saved my life. No question. Like people do not survive accidents like the one I had. Um, if they're not, you know, super, super, super healthy, they just don't. And, and I came back like stronger than before. So all the way, um, on the right, you'll see, like, I lost my, my abs and my butt got really flat. Um, because when you sit in a wheelchair and you don't get to stand for two months, that's apparently what happens. And that was finally when I got to do, um, quarter four, start to finish after I got out of my wheelchair. So I wanted to share that background with you guys. Um, and now I'm going to go into um, kind of my daily tasks and what I do to build my business. And this is something that I established before I had this accident. Because like I said, I know that when times get like really hard and, and stuff happens and you don't know what to do first, it's really helpful to have a checklist and say, this is what I have to do. This is how I have to work my business. And this is, these are the things that are going to move my business forward. So, okay, so I'm sure all of you guys have heard about a power hour. And a power hour does not include scrolling on Facebook. That is not part of my power hour. So every single week I write out my power hour to-do list, which is pretty much the same stuff every day. Um, and then maybe I'll add like an extra task once a day that I, you know, have to do. Maybe one day I'm going to do a blog post. Maybe one day I'm going to, um, I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know, do something bookkeeping wise or something like that. But my power hour is all stuff that's going to move my business forward. It is not the back end stuff because that back end stuff and all those pretty flyers are not what's going to move the business forward. So I write out my weekly goals. I follow my to-do list. I read and listen to personal development. This is so important. If you are crunched on time, I feel like this is the vital behavior that goes to the wayside. Grab audiobooks. I think Audible is free for the first 30 days. Um, listen while you work out. Listen while you walk your dog. Listen while you cook dinner. Just listen if you can't sit down and read. I work on me, and I lead by example. So um, I don't spend a lot of time dragging my team along. I just don't. So if you're on my team, you know this. A lot of what I share with my team is stuff that's working for me. Like I'll share my posts in there. Um, I'll share stuff that I'm doing that's working for me. I'll share groups that are working for me so that my team can learn. I'll also share stuff that's not working. Like, hey guys, this did not work at all for me. Um, because I think that is really important. I think it's, you need to be able to, um, walk the walk, right? Not just talk the talk. So um, even as a five-star coach, I'd say I spend 90% of my time on myself. And that is the best thing I can do for my team is showing them what to do instead of telling them what to do. 
have the mindset and the right intentions to help the most people and I expect nothing in return. And I'm going to go over a little bit more about that on the next slide and sort of how I run my free groups and, and give that way. And then I will say the last thing is really obvious, but no excuses and no complaining. So there are a lot of top coaches and they're all different. Men, women, moms, not moms, dads, not dads. Um, they live all over the country. They come from all different backgrounds. Some of them are super fit. Some of them are still on their journey. But the one thing you'll never see them do is complain or put the blame on someone else. So if they miss a, if they miss a goal, if they miss a deadline, if they miss something, they will say, okay, I missed this because of something I did. They will take responsibility for it and they will move on and figure out how they're going to fix it instead of putting their energy into complaining about it. So that's really, really, really important where your focus goes, your energy flows or something like that. And so it's really important to like, think about, okay, well, that's a problem. That stinks. So maybe it stinks, but then how are you going to fix it? So what do I do in this power hour? I add people to my network. I add three to five people a day or 20 people a week. Um, and I start connecting with those people, whatever platforms you're using, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, doesn't matter. Whatever platform you're comfortable with, you're going to do that on. I return all of my messages. I go to bed every night with an empty inbox. Um, two shares per day. So I talk about something um, to do with the business, Shakeology, challenge, and I keep these really focused. So I'll show you in my calendar that I run a different challenge every single week so that I'm focusing on one thing at a time and I'm not um, trying to invite 100 other things at once. Um, I invite two to three people to my next challenge group. Same thing. I'm focusing on whatever I'm doing next. I follow up with people I talked about before and I keep a list of this. Um, for my organization, I honestly just use notes on my phone and I also use Google Streak, which is a Gmail add-on. I highly recommend it. I love it um, because I don't have to log into a third party system. So I'm not like having to upload my email somewhere else. They're all in my Gmail already. And that's what I use for email. Um, I make a to-do list for tomorrow. I post on my team page. And a lot of times it's just like a post that I did or um, something that's working for me or um, some sort of idea that I had or a question. And I'm very random with it. I'm not like regimented with what I post on my team page. I post on my Facebook uh, and Instagram at least two times a day, every single day. And there are times when I take a break, but I let my audience know I'm taking a break. So for example, um, I went on the Success Club cruise in 2016 and um, I, I decided I was going to turn off my phone. I didn't even want it on for pictures. I literally carried around like a digital camera to take pictures with. But I told my audience, like, I'm going off the grid, right? And everyone respected that and knew that. But I treated it like a job. Like, I wouldn't just not show up for work and not tell anyone. Like, I was like, hey, I'm taking a vacation. I'm going off the grid. My business didn't suffer at all. But I didn't just disappear for six days without telling anyone I was doing that. I put the business in front of three to five people a week, every single week minimum. And this is what I do every single day. Like I, unless I'm taking a vacation, I do not miss a power hour. And sometimes I can sit down for a full hour, but with an infant and a full-time job, sometimes I can sit down for 10 minutes, six times a day. Whatever way you want to do it, it doesn't matter as long as you do do it. This is like my non-negotiables. Okay, so um, this is a very old calendar, but it's just a really good example. So I, the way I stay super organized is by having a calendar. So the first Monday of every single month, I run a free challenge in my free group. And I have an ongoing free group. So I have a group that's free and um, it just, I can add people to it whenever I want, but I do a specific challenge starting the first Monday of every month. So um, I actually don't know what I'm doing Monday. I just asked my group with a poll because I think that's really awesome for engagement. But like last month, I did a clean week. Um, the month before that, I did a vision board. Um, so whatever you're interested in doesn't even need to be health and fitness related. You can do that. And then, so the week up to that, I'm going to be breadcrumbing. So dropping little hints about and inviting and doing calls to action to my free group. And then my free group starts. 
And then I'm going to be looking at who's in my free group and I'm going to start inviting them to my challenge group, which starts the next Monday, right? And then that whole week, I'm going to be breadcrumbing calls to action, inviting to my challenge group. And then my challenge group starts. And this really allows me to hit success club, you know, in the very beginning of the month. So my goal is to be at success club 10 by like the 10th of the month. And then what I can work on is looking at those, um, challengers and seeing who might make a good coach, inviting them to my sneak peek into coaching group, which is going to start the third or the fourth Monday of the month and converting them into coaches. So that is like a really simple way to run your month. You can do it however you want, whatever works for you. I've heard people say they, you know, they do a challenge group every other week and then a coaching group every other week and just like fill in the blanks that way. This is what works for me. I do my free group. It starts I do my challenge group, it starts. I do my coaching group, it starts. And then I can kind of get all my coaches started um, in the beginning of the next month. So like I started my what is coaching group on Monday. I ran it until today. Tomorrow I'm doing a what is coaching webinar. My goal will be to get everyone onboarded before next Monday so I can start um, working with them on training. So, um, and this was obviously super old because this like has a size sale and stuff. We don't do those challenge pack sales anymore. But just as an example of sort of how to run my month, because I used to get what I called squirrel syndrome and it made it really hard for me to concentrate and like work my business effectively. Like I would see people running a challenge. I'd be like, okay, I'll invite you to that. And someone else running another challenge. I'll invite you to that. And I was all over the place. But guys, we all share. So if you see someone running a challenge and you're like, oh, I'd love to run an Instant Pot challenge, reach out to them. Be like, hey, can I have your template? I'm going to run my own Instant Pot challenge next week. Or will you add me to the group or whatever? And the, and I guarantee you, they will. Like, they'll be like, sure, no problem. They'll add you. They'll send you their template, whatever. And then you can run your own instead of feeling like you're running in 500 different directions, inviting people to 500 different things. Staying super focused is going to allow you to cut down on your time. Okay, so um, I talked a lot about inviting, and I know that's like a vital behavior that is the hardest for people. I think personal development falls to the wayside because of time. I think inviting falls to the wayside because people don't want to do it. So I always recommend um, to start a conversation, compliment, comment, question, like, hey, I love that, you know, blue jacket. I think it looks great on you. Where did you get it? You know, always ask someone a question. Give them something to respond to. Have you considered um, how long have you been into? Would you rather blank or blank? What's your best advice for? What would you recommend? Like, just talk to them like normal people. Um, and someone said on a call recently, it might have been Bonnie on the National Wake Up Call last week. She was talking about, you know, if someone says no to you, would you still want to be their friend? And if the answer is yes, then you're kind of going about your business the right way. You want to be connecting with people that you actually want to talk to because that's going to make it way more fun for you. Um, use their name always, hon and babe and whatever, just make it seem like super, um, blanket message. Um, and especially on Instagram where someone's screen name is like, you know, fit girl 17 or something, it usually has their name on there. Take five seconds, look up their name and use it. If you're sending them a direct message, um, it's so important for connecting with people. If you really want to connect with people. So here's a little social media planner, um, just like things to post about. If you go, oh my God, I have no idea what to post about. Like do something like this. Like I, you know, and you can work them into posts. Like tonight I did a post for my webinar for tomorrow and I'm doing it with Whitney. And so Whitney was my woman crush Wednesday. And so I hashtagged that and I talked about what we're doing and I breadcrumbed a little bit too. I breadcrumbed a little bit about like what coaching has done for me and you can throw it into little posts. like. Um, my post from right after work. I, so I, I usually post before work at lunch and then one or two posts after work, depending if I did a lunch and a morning post. But today I only did a lunch post, so I did two after work. So I um, was posting about how I'm in, there's a beach body bumps group, like for only coaches and how everyone was so supportive in there because the community is so supportive. And it was a funny post and it really had nothing to do with that. It had to do with something totally different, but to breadcrumb a little bit about, you know, the coaching opportunity and the community can work into almost, you know, any post. And because this is my week to talk about coaching, 
I'm going to be trying to breadcrumb something every single day with like one or two calls to action thrown in there. Okay, so here are my top five time management tips and how you can really stay focused in this hour and really grow your business in this hour. Have a plan and stick to it, like all the time. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Um, do it every day, every day, every day, every day. Like no excuses. Don't be like, oh, I can't today because X, Y, Z. Sometimes maybe it means you have to get up earlier or stay up later. I get it. That stinks. Um, but sometimes if you want to grow your business and move forward, you've got to do those things. Um, and if you like, you know what, I really want more than what, you know, Jillian has done. I want to be, you know, a 15 star top 10 coach. Sweet. Then like multiply this and do it like, 10 times a day, right? Like this is, this to me is something that's going to build a super solid business. Like it has for me, but it probably isn't going to catapult you to like, you know, top 10 status. So, but it's these activities done over and over and over again, then well, so if you have bigger aspirations, then just do more of it. Um, put the necessary before the fun. So if you like love doing flyers, don't do those. You have to do all of your power hour activities before that other stuff comes into play. Um, that's super important. Um, and also, I would say delegate things that you're not good at. Um, I'm really bad at flyers. If you assign me to do a flyer, it will look like my dog did it, and that is not an exaggeration. And I used to spend like three hours trying to do flyers because um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like Jen Richardson's flyers. I would look at her flyers and I'd be like, oh my God, these are amazing. She She's amazing at design. And mine just didn't look like that. And I, and I stopped. I was like, this is not working for me. Um, it's not move, moving my business forward. It's frustrating for me. Um, you can use a service called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, or Upwork, U-P-W-O-R-K, um, and you can delegate out things. The Fiverr service is five bucks to delegate something out, and like that's how I do any kind of graphics work I need done. Um, and Upwork is more like assistance, but it's really great. It's a really great way to delegate stuff out if you need to. But the reality is a lot of the stuff is probably not going to move your business forward that you're spending your time on. So maybe you just don't need to do it. And, and when you have time to do your fun stuff, that's when you fit it in. Take your hardships and turn them into success. So like, well, probably most of you have not had a nearly life ending accident in the middle of your coaching career. Like me, be thankful you haven't. Um, you probably have been through something. And there's someone out there that has been through the same something or a similar something to what you have. There just is. And you've got to start sharing that because you're going to, you're going to help someone. Like I guarantee you when I share about my story and like what I've been through, it's therapeutic for me, but it's also helpful. I have so many people reach out to me and be like, Oh my goodness, thank you for sharing. I had this traumatic injury or I had, you know, I have PTSD from X, Y, Z or whatever their case may be. Um, so you have to think about like how therapeutic it can be for you, but also how much it can help other people. I remember, you know, Facebook was kind of like my blog when I was sitting in a hospital bed by myself, like I had nothing to do. And it was so nice to kind of be able to at least connect with someone because I lived in a, um, a rehab facility and everyone was like 80 plus years old. Like I was the youngest one by like 50 years. And I just wanted to talk to people and it was so nice to have someone to connect to. So realize that there's other people going through what you are going through, but it's important for you to kind of start sharing for yourself, for your, to be authentic to yourself and have be a little therapeutic for yourself and also um, to help other people. And the last one's super obvious, but it's stop scrolling. Like if you're scrolling you're not working and you can say like, Oh my goodness, I just worked for two hours and you know, I didn't move my business forward, but you have to think about, are you really doing the vital behaviors in those two hours or are you just on social media and, and calling that working? So that that's a huge thing for me too. Okay. So it's the 28th, which means it's the last day of the month. Um, and I want to know, I want you guys to think about what your calendar is going to look like for next month. Like, what are you doing next month to um, move your business forward? What groups are you running? What order? It doesn't have to be the way mine is set up, but I can tell you, 
um, that Monday I have a free group starting, that next Monday I have a challenge group starting, and the last Monday of the month is my what is coaching group. That's, that's how my months are always set up. That's what works for me. But I know what it looks like, you know, for the next, you know, six months or something like that. What are you going to be inviting to? What are these groups you're running that you're going to be inviting to? Because if you have nothing to invite to, it's even harder to invite just like a blanket invite, right? That's when things kind of start to get spammy. And then I'm going to say be bold and start reaching out and start talking to people and have conversations, like genuine conversations, and realize that, you know, you're going to help people. I will tell you, like, when I run my free groups, people always say to me, well, how much does it cost? I'm like, nothing. It doesn't cost anything. And they automatically, you're like ranked up on their, you know, coolness factor on their authentic factor because they're like, Oh, this person is really reaching out because they, they want to help. And that's what, you know, on the first slide I talked about giving without expecting in return. And I think that's so important. I talk to a ton of people that say, listen, like I just don't have the budget. I'm like, no problem. I have a free group. Um, you know, I can't give you a full, I'll explain to them. Like I can't give you a full, you know, nutrition and exercise plan for free. But what I can do is provide you with some recipes, um, some, you know, some workouts cause we have clean week now before the paywall and some ideas and a community for you to check in. And sometimes they come around and they're like, you know what? I see the value you provide. I'm ready to commit to a plan. And sometimes they don't. But either way, I'm able to provide some sort of value for these people um, without expecting anything in return. And I think that is super helpful. So um, my, my, you know, my last lesson is like, you know, don't, um, works, would it work smarter, not harder. So, you know, when I had this team call plan for my team and, um, I was talking to Jen about like what I could do for the diamond dash group. I told her I was doing this and we decided to kind of just combine it. So it doesn't always need to be, um, like a ton of, you don't need to do a ton of other things. You can like, this is my multitasking call. Um, and I can still reach just as many people and make it super easy. So I'm going to stop my share. Um, and if anyone has questions, you guys can just unmute yourselves and ask and we can have a conversation. I'm totally cool with that. I hope that was helpful for you all. Hey, Jillian, ready? I have a question. Yeah. So your free groups, you just have one going all like if you add people they just stay in it forever mm -hmm. do you post constantly or you just do one week at a time i know you said you do like a one week challenge but on the off weeks are you still posting yeah i try to post like at least every other day like something of value and sometimes it's taking a post to my personal page and sharing it in there so if i posted a recipe i'll just like share it in there um but yeah i do i i try to like keep busy in there, if you will, but it allows me to, to not lose anyone. So I think w what I learned in 2016, I was opening and closing groups every single month. And I actually like pulled my, and it was really time consuming, like just physically opening and closing groups. So I pulled my group and I was like, do you guys like this? Or do you, would you prefer to just stay in a group? And they're like, oh no, we just want to stay in a group. We don't want to be added and taken out of a bunch of groups. And the same, my challenge group is also ongoing. I just start a new challenge the second Monday of every month, but it, it, it cuts down so much useless administration time that I don't, I don't need to do anymore. Okay. That's awesome. Cause I, change every month and I feel like sometimes I lose people like they have an off month and I say like do you want to be in the next group and then they don't respond so then I'm like well have I lost them for good like then I feel like I'm constantly reinviting whereas maybe they would just pick back up if they essentially weren't kicked out yeah I I, I and everyone's different. You have to decide what works for your business. For me, I don't require people to stay on Shakeology HD to be in my group, um, my challenge group. I, I, if my free group, as long as you have a free account with me and I'm your free coach, which I do require them to have a free account because um, I don't want someone to have like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. I'm just gonna move. There we go. Okay. I don't want someone to have like a coach on another team or some other coach and I add them to my free group and like, 
it's really awkward. Like, I don't want that. So I just right. have them do the free form. And if they say to me, oh, I already have an account, then I can be like, oh, do you have a coach? And then it's not awkward. And I can explain to them that, you know, I don't want to add people with other coaches, it's considered poaching, blah, blah, blah. So um, to be in my free group, you do have to have a free account with me. Um, I figure if people can't take three, that form is literally three minutes. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, it's like three seconds and the new form is even better in the new office. And then if they're in my challenge group, they have to have something beach body. It doesn't matter if it's the performance line or psychology or daily sunshine or just a program or just on demand. I don't care what it is. As long as they have something beach body, they're welcome to join my challenge group. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anyone have any other questions? Was I that good that you guys? Um, I have one question. Sure. Um, so on the, because I've tried to find the free account form, um, does it matter if like our Beachbody link is connected to that or is it just a form and we give them our coach ID or how do you usually do that? Um, so sorry, my husband just came in to get the dog. Um, so it's, if you go to the team beach body four one one links, do you have that link? Uh huh. I do. Yep. And you go to like, it's the last section. It's like membership or something. Okay. If you put in your, um, your ID there and you go to um memberships at the bottom it will say like free i'm gonna look at it right now and see exactly what it says it's like free form or something like that okay um hold on coach link generator here we go all right it's just being slow um okay so oh click on registration and then it's the first link says free member uh -huh. And that's the form, but you would put in your ID. Do you know which website I'm talking about? TBB 411 coach link generator. Maybe not. I think, is it an app or is it like on the computer? I'm put, I'll put it in the chat. Okay. And then just click on registration and then free account. Okay. Okay. That helps. Yeah. Cause I was looking all over and then I ended up just, sending it and then giving someone my ID. Yeah, you need to have your, your ID on it. Because the other thing is if someone like decides at three in the morning they want to order Shakeology and you're not online, then if they order, it goes right to you as long as they have a free account with you. Okay. Which is also helpful. Right. Okay, that helps. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Does anyone have anything else? You guys good all right all right um well i will post the recordings um and if you have any questions um you know feel free to ping me or whatever and um we can go from there so think about kind of what your march is going to look like and we can you know have an have an awesome march i mean i think march is a great month i think a lot of people have maybe fallen off with their new year's resolutions um from january and february and realize that they want to be part of a community or want help from a coach and that's where that's where we come in so um have a wonderful rest of your what day is it wednesday and maybe there's some fun promotions happening tomorrow i don't know but um have a great rest of your wednesday and i'll talk to you guys later bye thank you bye you're welcome bye